Ashcombe shooting ground in Devon has had a makeover. <laughs> We've got to have a go. I've never shot anything bouncing off a trampoline before, so uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. What's your advice, Steph? See, so just get on and shoot it in the face. <laughs> so that's what our guinea pig clay shooter, Philip, does. Pull. Pull. Yeah, I managed to hit those. <laughs> Convincingly, anyway. They say trampoline targets, we've smashed them. <laughs> now on to the driven. Field Sports Nation member Philip Young is at Ashcombe for a lesson with instructor Steph Davey. Uh, it's one of my local uh, shooting grounds, only live about 15 minutes away. I used to come here quite frequently um, with groups of people from work and uh, friends just for practice for game shooting, just for a bit of fun, really. Um, but today, I need a bit of help, basically. My driven shooting has sort of suffered in recent years, so I just need a bit of a brush up and just get the technique right with uh, the driven birds and see if I can uh, get myself back on form again. Steph does a lot of these kinds of shooting lessons. I tend to find people will uh, not take the bird on and read the bird correctly, so they see the birds come and think, oh, quick, there they come, there they come, and they don't take the second to read the bird, will either not measure that line correctly, not to get the speed and not get the gun in the shoulder. So that's those three things tend to be the main issue. I tend to go off to the side quite a bit or, well, it depends what sort of birds we're shooting. If it's uh, partridge, I might go in too far in front, give them too much lead um, because I think they're going quicker than they actually are. Uh, pheasants, I don't tend to have too much of an issue with lead wise, but again, it's, it's the line of the bird, I think, is what I tend to struggle with. I just can't keep the sort of consistent line pushing through and then I end up missing to the side. I've had my eye dominance checked, I've had various gun fits over the years as well, so I can't blame the equipment, unfortunately. It's, it's literally just down to me. Uh, possibly a lack of practice as well, I think I could do with a little bit more, so hopefully try and get out a bit more and uh, have a lesson just to get me back in the swing of things. Steph puts one over Philip just to watch. Up there, nice and steady little partridge. So what I'd like to see, Phil, is I'd like you to see you, how you approach the bird and we'll make any corrections as necessary. Okay. Pull. Pull. So what do you reckon then, Phil? Talk to me. I think I might have been slightly offline on that again. It, it, it felt like I shot slightly underneath it maybe. Okay. And possibly stopped my swing as well. Okay, so there's a few things that I want to look at and how we address the bird or the target. So I'd like you to tell me, where do you first see the bird? I was picking it up roughly around that, uh, that tree there. Very small window, I suppose, uh, okay. for picking it up. So one thing I'd like to change is where we start our gun, so our gun hold position. Okay. You said you see the bird up here, but yet yep. your gun was almost blocking out that view. Ah, okay. It doesn't give you much time to see and read the bird, get onto that line. So what I'd like to do, we'll change our gun hold, okay. bring it slightly lower back to where we first see that target, and then we're going to swing through and just push the front edge for me. <laughs> I believe in you. Nice to know somebody does. So start off and we get a bit further back. Yep, perfect. And then just push through. Yep. Okay. Pull. But again, I'm not sure if I swung through on the line of the bird or if I pulled to the side of it. There's one thing that we can do to change that. Okay. We're going to move our feet. A typical game shot, we never move our feet. We get on the bird and we do a little <laughs> dip or we try and swing round and it's really difficult. So I'd like you just to turn a fraction to your left. Cool. When you're ready, here he comes. Pull. I'm not sure if I'm going through the bird enough. I think I'm catching up with it. Yes. But then not pushing through that last little bit. Possibly. Oh, you deserve a gold star today. Right, you okay. know what you're talking about. You don't need me here. <laughs> okay, so we've got our feet sorted, yep. our gun hold position. Yep. We've got the line of the bird, we just need to push on through. Pull. Excellent shot. Did that little side step make a lot of difference. I've got a bit more uh, visibility now because obviously the tree's there. I've got a bit more open sky to see the target. Uh, so that definitely helped. I just need to slow the swing down, I think. Yeah? I was going to say, it's a common problem with men getting a bit overexcited on the first <laughs> shot. So we'll just take a nice deep breath, take a pause and then go for that second target. Okay. Pull. Excellent shot. Much better. Feeling good? Yeah, that felt a lot more comfortable. Um, again, no stretching. Didn't feel like I was actually stretching to, to hit the bird. Didn't give it much lead either. Um, surprised at how little lead I actually gave that. It was literally just in front, past its nose and pulled the trigger. That second of reading that target allows you to judge the, the speed and also the distance that you are from that bird, which your brain will automatically work out the lead. I think that's so a lot of people go six bar gate, pack of the fags, whatever it is. No, no, just read that bird, push on through. On the money. 
Excellent. Success for me in any lesson, let alone today with Philip, um, is to be able to completely and 100% diagnose the issue, to, to be able to acknowledge that it's all well and good me teaching today, but he's got to be able to take that away and put that into practice into the field. So to be able to give him those tools to go away, feel confident and to, um, to walk away feeling really good to get out in the field. Now, you may notice that Philip is using a side-by-side. -side. I have to ask, why? This is quite an old gun, um, about 99 years old. Uh, it's a Frederick Beasley, um, London-built side lock ejector. I've had it a few years now. I do shoot surprisingly well with it. I've sort of moved back to side-by-sides recently, having shot a lot of over and unders over the years. Uh, just gives me an immense sense of enjoyment, really, having something historical like that to shoot. There is plenty to shoot with it here. Local gun shop Sportsman Gun Centre took over Ashcombe in the autumn of 2022. It refurbished it and it installed a new manager. Don Brunt, who came from Dorset originally, uh, who I've known for probably 15, 20 years, has come down as one of the directors. Um, and him and his team have done an amazing job. The, bu the business, the store here, uh, the shoot was closed for seven weeks before we took it back on and opened it. Um, and in that time scale, he has opened up many, many new stands. Uh, there were only three clays originally, the original pattern that had been here for probably quite a few years. Um, and now we also have over 200 sporting clays out there targets uh, at any one time. So um, uh, hopefully Devon's finest. Did it beep or anything? Oh! Hang on, it says target beep before make selection. What? <laughs> I don't know, that's why I'm, I'm looking at the box. Target beep before make selection. What did you do? I just pressed the B button instead. Yeah, so you've got sporting layout, there's a few compact layouts, and then go up into the woods, so very nice simulated out and um, very realistic style of shooting out on the clay ground and um, plenty of variety of targets which is always nice and catch some people out put some practice in go on you can do it so I'm um, based in Dorset primarily. I've, I've travelled down to Ashcombe for the last sort of few years, and obviously now that uh, it's been taken over, new management as well. I'm making a bit more of an effort to uh, expand my horizons, as it were, and then expand into Devon and do a bit more down here. So you obviously love it here. I was going to say, what's not to love? Got beautiful countryside, great shooting, and um, a nice playground. So yeah, suits me down to the ground. We will be and, and do currently cater for people like corporate. We do uh, individual training and coaching. And we were having open days. We now have CPSA competitions. Um, there's some exciting news, a three or four day major international event taking place at Ashcombe, which I can't really talk about, but you are the first person to know. Um, and we'll keep developing the site. So uh, we're going to remove around about 200 trees due to um, dieback. Um, and that will then create a whole new uh, avenue of uh, sporting clays. Um, and also there will soon be uh, some exciting information about a very new high tower. And there are details of how to contact both Ashcombe and Steph in the description below.